everyone welcome back or welcome if you were new my name is Tanya with my body and soul company and I make aromatherapy bath and beauty products so for today's project we're doing a cold process soap it is ice and fire so it is going to uh, be a layered well layered on a diagonal soap I guess you will call it as well as a drop swirl and part of it is going to represent fire and part of it is going to represent ice so first i'm just going to take my lye water and get it poured into my oils and i do have this recipe listed down in the description box and there is also sodium lactate in my lye water now i'm going to give that a quick buzz containers All right, so I have that split off there and then from this batter we're gonna split part of that off for an accent color I think that should be good there and we're gonna color this main part with trial by fire from nurture if I can get the bag open there we go and get our fragrance oil added in this is ice and fire from crafters choice it's a really, um, has like spicy notes to it. There's cassis in it, amber woods, patchouli, some grapefruit. It's a really nice fragrance. In this one, we're putting Racing Stripe Orange from Brambleberry. Just gonna stir that in first and then we'll give it a blend. That looks good there. And then we'll do our orange real quick. going to take my orange and put it in with the red. It's thickened up a bit, so I'm going to have to help it as far as getting it incorporated together. And then we're going to take this yellow mica from Brambleberry and do that as a little bit of a mica drop that looks good there i'm gonna get this drizzled all in there give that a little once around all right 
Now it looks good there. Now we're gonna get her mold up here. Towel under it there. That looks good. All right. Now we're gonna get it into the mold here. in there we're gonna get the sides cleaned up a little bit and let this set up a little bit more and then we will go ahead and do the next layer all right now we are ready for our next layer I just got to get that loosened up a little bit again Here we go. So we're gonna put a little bit for an accent color in my other container over here. Then we're gonna pour in the rest of our fragrance oil. In my big bucket here, we're doing some Brilliant Blue from Nurture. That was a nice little poof. And then in this bucket, we are doing Blue Tide from Mad Micas. Get that all in there. And we're gonna start off, like I said, we're gonna try to just stir these in and see how things go. The fragrance oil will hopefully get that loosened back up. All right, that's looking good. container. Trying to move a little fast here since things are setting up on me. We're just going to give that a little turn around. Looks good there. And then we're going to do a mica drop of Shimmering Cloud from Crafter's Choice. And bring our mold over and get it in. Not sure how angled this actually turned out, but that is okay. Worked in there. it to set up so that I would be able to pour on top of this other layer but I may have set up a little too much all right I'm gonna give this a tap down then we're gonna take care of the top we're gonna drizzle out a little bit more of this shimmering cloud mica
And then we're gonna get that swirled in with a chopstick. So just do a little bit of a swirly top. Just like that. I am always a fan of the swirly tops. They're my favorite. There we go. And then lastly, I am going to sprinkle on some moonshine glitter from Nurture. Oh, that was way more than anticipated. That's all right though. That will just be a sparkly section. All right, so that is looking good there. And I am going to bring you in for a close up and then we'll let this set up for 18 to 24 hours and then we'll be back to cut. of my ice and fire soap. Now, I knew as soon as I poured this one that my diagonal wasn't gonna work because I did not set it up correctly and start pouring correctly. But still really happy with how that turned out. I love the flames on the bottom there and the different colors on the top. I'm trying to decide if this should turn into earth and sky or stay as ice and fire. Not a hundred percent sure yet. But the fragrance is really nice and strong still. You really get those kind of patchouli notes in it. So really happy with how that turned out and the top. And I really like that Trial by Fire Red from Nurture Soap. It's the best true red that I have found. And the Moonshine Mica on the top has a lot of nice sparkle to it. So I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, give it a big thumbs up and I will catch you in my next one.